Hi, in our today's video, we are going to learn how to mail merge into PDFs in Microsoft Word and uh, we might use a software called uh, Foxit Phantom because it will help us add more features to our mail merge. Basically, mail merge lets you create a batch of documents that are personalized for each recipient. For example, personalizing maybe an invoice to address each recipient by name and other attributes. A data source is needed and in our case we are going to use an excel sheet we have an invoice here excel sheet that has the data and then we'll have um, a word document which will act as our template and we are going to see that in a minute so in the template there are fields called merge fields that tell the word document where to get the data from so you create a template in microsoft word then attach the data source like excel and finally start generating merged documents but in this video we are going to go a step further and show you how you can save the merged documents into pdf files that are named according to personalized details in the excel sheet so for our demonstration today we are going to use uh, this template you can easily make one from uh, microsoft word i'm using microsoft word 2021 and uh, the database that we are going to use, we will use an Excel sheet that has the details. Our template side to side, you will see in our invoice, we have um, our customer name, email, uh, the item supplied, price per item, quantity supplied and total. And uh, around here, we are going to input, we are going to input a date for the payment. So our data source, which in this case is our Excel sheet, contains all the fields which are represented in our invoice and uh, so basically what we're going to do is um, to attach for example the customer name to this column uh, if it's the email to this column and for the simplicity of our of work today i don't have much of the data so for name we're going to use customer one two three the same uh, emails i'm going to use exactly the same and the supplier all that from this uh, excel sheet when it comes to the item supplied you can see item supplied we are going to pick data from this column price by unit the same all the way to due date now the due date we are going to insert it to this place here uh, let's maximize so that at least we can see what we are working with without much stories let's uh, get in if we want to insert uh, merge fields the first thing will be you click on mailings and then you attach the list the source of your data in our case the excel sheet so we are going to use an existing list and uh, the file picker will take us all the way to where we have saved our excel file so you click on it hit on open it will ask the sheet that you are going to use maybe you you have a workbook which has several sheets and you might want to tell your merge process where exactly to pick data from now in case maybe the first row data contains column headers you might want to check this so that it will skip the first row but if the data starts uh, exactly from uh, row one it will be good to just uncheck this we can go ahead and click on ok so after attaching our data source which is uh, the excel sheet we can now start inserting merge fields by clicking on this and because here we want the customer name we want the column with the names so we click on name the email the same way items applied same thing you do this all the way until you're done with the, all the fields that you want so this is a simple one so you might have uh, maybe a more complicated one which will require maybe more time but for the sake of demonstration you're going to use this and now we are done inserting the merge fields so the next thing is to just preview the results and see whether it's working as we are expecting it to in the ribbon we have this preview results you click on it and you can see this is the first customer all the details are for that uh, first customer uh, if we preview a second one it will pick now from the second row and we can see that from the excel sheet so you can see customer one has everything for example item one price one quantity one customer two item two all the way up to 30 so in this case we have 30 customers that you are going to send the invoices and if you just proceed it will go all the way that way 
Now, the normal way we usually mail merge is you click on a finish and merge. You either might want to send emails and if you have a column for the emails, you're going to use that. You can print all the documents, but you want to edit individual documents. This is now the normal mode, the normal way of doing a mail merge. So let's take uh, an example. We want to match all the records. If I check on all because I want to match all the 30 records, I click on OK. Then I have a one long document containing all the clients. I don't want to like have one document. I want separate documents so that when I'm emailing, I can be able to pick a file directly as a single file. So this is where Foxit Phantom or even Adobe Acrobat comes in. Uh, let's start with uh, Adobe Acrobat and the features. If you install Microsoft Word and Adobe Acrobat, by default, they usually merge together to create uh, this field here. So if I click on merge to Adobe Acrobat PDF, these are the options that we have. We can be able to merge all the records. For example, in our, in our data sheet, we have 30 uh, customers and the file names. If you want to maybe put a specific name, let's say invoices. So it will call all those documents invoices. Plus it will append some of the numbers to differentiate uh, the, the file names. I have an email options whereby if I want to send those documents directly from uh, after mail merging, we send those documents directly to the client we can choose the row that has the emails for the client so if I have that selected and I add my subject line and then our body and click OK it will send automatically to the recipients so that's Adobe Acrobat our video today was inspired by Oxid Phantom because it has more features so when it comes to record range I might decide to either put only one, the one which we are previewing, or we can specify the document number. For example, I want from number 10 to maybe number 20. I can be able to do that. But in this case, I want all of them. Now, when they come, this is where now the software shines. When it comes to PDF file names, you might maybe want to put a similar name like we did with the Adobe Acrobat invoices, or we can choose a field and by choosing a field, we can specify exactly what, um, where it will go and pick the name from. And in my case, I want the name, which means that we will have separate PDFs and each PDF will be renamed according to the name of that person. And also we have the options where we can be able to send the files after merging. We can be able to send those PDFs directly to the email. So if I check on this, this uh, we can choose the column with the emails. We can add a subject line and a, our message. And once we click OK, it will be sent. But for comparison, let's cancel and first merge with the Adobe Acrobat. So we say that we want the name to be invoices. And once we hit OK, so it will ask for the place where we are going to store the merged files. And uh, once we highlight the folder and click OK, so it will continue processing. After merging, now it's converting all the files to PDFs and uh, mail merge was completed successively. So we click on OK. And if you go to the folder, this is the folder that we did. You can see all the way up to 30. And if you open any of those, this, for example, is customer nine and all the details and the due date. Everything will be like that. But now when it comes to know the file names, you can't tell until we open the document to whom that invoice belongs to. So let's highlight everything, delete, and then let's see the difference that you're going to get when we do that using Foxit Phantom. So on the ribbon, when we click on merge to Foxit PDF, you're going back to the place we were. We are going to use uh, this column with names to name our PDF files from. So once we click on OK, because we want all the records, once we click on OK, it will process and it will ask us where we are going to store the data. And as usual, let's put it in the same folder, hit on OK. And uh, we have a message that uh, our merge was complete and it was successful. Once we click OK and go back to the folder, you can see it was able to rename the folders 
according to the name of the customer that's customer 5 and the name is customer 5 customer 15 and this is customer 15 in the future i'm going to make a video where we are going to use macros in excel to send bulk emails to clients and those emails will have personalized attachments and salutations in their name so stay tuned hit the notification bell so that you don't miss that so thank you for watching the video all the way up to the end if you have not subscribed kindly do so like the video if it was constructive enough and share to those people whom you think will be interested in the content that you are making